If you want instant access to new videos as they're uploaded, then please click on the subscribe button. Also, don't forget to comment on the videos. And if you're interested in learning more about BetAngel, visit BetAngel.com today and download a free trial. So you'll be delighted to know that in the latest version of BetAngel 141, we have uh, improved the functionality in terms of tennis scores and the ability to automate trading against those tennis scores. And the way that we've done that is we've now introduced it into Guardian. Uh, Guardian is the multi-market, multifunctional uh, tool that includes automation on BetAngel. And to find Guardian, you just go up to here and click on the big G. Guardian is pretty much a program on its own. So it's, uh, there's a lot to explore in here. But what I'm going to show you specifically here is just the new tennis trading feature. In order to use it, we need to find some tennis markets. So if I go to search, we can actually go here and do that search there, which is tennis and match odds. That will bring up all of the matches that uh, are being played today. And if I press the shift key and page down, that will mark all of them. And then I can just drag and drop them across into Guardian. And that will get us going quickly and easily. So um, we need to see matches that are in play, because obviously they're the ones that uh, will have the score on it. If you want to speed up how quickly these matches are populated, you can move it to 200 milliseconds and it will flash through all of them. And what I'm going to do is sort them by volume. So if I click there, you can see that obviously the matches that are underway at the moment are going to be the ones that have the highest volume. So if we look at this match at the top of Guardian, this has got uh, 808,000 pounds. You can see the numbers are going up as we look at it. And uh, if we want to display the tennis scores in their native uh, method, then what we can do is we can add that to the watch list. You can say we've got watch list one. There are several watch lists here. So if I do add selected market to watch list, and then I display the selected watch list, this will bring up that particular uh, match. And if you go into display and you choose to display the tennis scores, you can see what I've done here is display tennis scores and previous sets. And you can see there's the score that's taking place in this particular match. The reason we've done it in the watch list is you may want to watch more matches um, than just one at a time. So you can see we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten matches on. So you could display ten matches with the current scores in each of those matches. That's how you bring up the score. But that's not how you automate it. How you automate it, let's just move this off the, the side of the screen here, is you go to automation. And the automation will allow you to create a rule that's specific to what you want to achieve in that particular market. So you can see here Granola's and Simone. And uh, what we need to do is create a rule. So let's go and do that. So you mark the match that you want. On this occasion, we're going to do the match at the top here. And we create a new rules file for that selected market. So if we do that, a dialog box will pop up. It may not pop up on the screen which one. It may pop up somewhere else. Um, and then we have to obviously name this. So we could name this whatever we want. But if I do the Save As option here, we're going to call this Tennis Trading. I won't go into massive depth and create a rule for you. I just want to introduce the rules that have been created so that you can start to build on them from there. So you would create a rule in the same manner in which you would do normally. So the, the first part of the rule could be uh, Place a Lay Bet. So we'll call this Place a Lay Bet so you can remember exactly what this part of the rule was. Place a lay bet. Um, we can do this at any particular point. So in a tennis match you're probably going to do it in play. So we'll do relative to in play time. So we can start from the moment the match went in play and we can go up to many hours uh, after the match has actually started. It's up to you how you want to do this. This is just the window in which you would like this particular situation to occur. So you'd set it up like that. Parameters are fairly simple. I'm not going to go into these in depth. These are the options that you have. There are other videos on these. So what we'll do is we'll place uh, a position at best market price. So this will be the best available lay price. And we'll do it for a fixed amount of £10. But where the new elements of automation come in are via the conditions. So if we go into the conditions and we select new, I've accidentally double click that. Then what you'll see here is under condition type, you now have tennis serving condition, tennis fixed score condition, and tennis relative score condition. I managed to get that out. So let me just explore what these features are for you. 
The tennis serving condition basically says the selection that you're placing a bet on is serving or the selection is not serving. So if we go back to general here you can see this applies to and you can name a player or you can name uh, row 1 or row 2. It's up to you how you want to do that. So you have to apply the condition to either one of the players or the other. So it's going to be player 1 or player 2 or you can name them. If you name them it will only be specific to that particular market if you use the row index it will be specific to row 1 or row 2 or you can do it by order of favoritism it's up to you you've got three choices there but the condition will be applicable to that particular person so if we chose granolas or simon simon Gilles simon i think is how you pronounce it correctly then you can decide whether the selection is serving or not serving so that's one of the rules that you can apply so we can say the selection is serving then what we could do is we could actually say um, the selection score is any number of sets uh, or they have one set or the, and the opponent score let's do this correctly one set and the opponent score is zero so this is the first player is serving and he's one set to love up or you could just say well we don't care what the that is we're focusing on the game so you could say any of the sets and the score is 3-2 and it's on his serve but you can also say what the actual score is within that particular game. So if you wanted to, if you wanted to create a rule that was specific to a certain scoreline within the game, you can say uh, it's love 40 on his serve. So you could say if it's love 40, if he's losing uh, by 40 love on his serve, then you can place a lay bet at that particular moment. Or you may want to place a back bet. It's up to you. Well, what we've done is we've made it as configurable as you want. So you can do it by set, by games, or by points and you can ignore any of those or you can specifically uh, include those so you could actually say ignore the current score within the match although in all honesty you probably want to say it's love all and you could actually say he's two three down on his serve so he's serving at this particular point in the match or why not say something like four five so he basically is serving to stay in the set so you can you can create many many different mixtures uh, of score lines and however you want to do this. The other option you've got is you could actually create a relative score condition. So this is saying this selection is one or more sets, games or points ahead or behind of the player. So this is basically saying he's a set up, he's a game up, he's two games up. So this will trigger when any of those criteria are met. Um, so you could actually say he's one game up and then you could actually create another rule so if we could say he's one game ahead of and then we could actually go in there and say uh, he's one set ahead of as well so this rule would fire if the selection is serving he's one game ahead of the opponent and he's one set ahead of the opponent so can you see how we've done this the relative score condition allows you to enter or exit the market according to what the score is relative to the other player or you can go for a fixed score line so you can say uh, there's any in any particular set on this particular pattern of games or any this particular pattern of points there are many variations that you can do in the way that you want to do it and we've designed it like this so you can either go for a specific score line or you can actually go for a relative score line it's up to you so it's a very powerful feature hopefully I've given you an overview here of exactly how you can use it and of course you can use it in practice mode just like all of the other features within Bet Angel. so yeah go off and have a good play with that if you're interested in learning more about Bet Angel, visit BetAngel.com and download a free trial today